Yo, what up dudes? Uh, it's me, Lisa. Hi, welcome back to Mondays here on my channel um, and to a photo booth video, <laughs> old school style. Um, today I wanted to share a little clip from my new show, Sidebar, that is on Patreon. Um, it's the first of many a Sidebar episodes if you join my Patreon over at uh, patreon.com slash ungroundable podcast this thing is moving because you're on my stomach and my stomach is bouncing up and down that's where i'm at today um <laughs> glad to see you all here today enjoy this clip and uh, i hope that you'll consider joining the party on over there i love you guys and your support and uh looking forward to a week with you i'm finally getting a little bit better so more on that tomorrow but for now uh enjoy <laughs> Thank you so much for joining for our official and very first sidebar episode. Um, this is super exciting. I'm here with my husband, Jeff Anderson. Galante Anderson. There's a few like Jeff stands out there, and I hope that you guys are listening. Thank you very much for joining us. So, guys, um, before you even knew that this was all going to be a thing, I went on Instagram on the stories and I asked for some stories from you guys that um, were stories that you just never told your parents. And some of you were even like, I'm holding this to the grave. So stories about things that you did that you have yet to tell your parents about. We got some great responses and I thought I would read some and share them with you and see if you have any thoughts on them. Oh, absolutely. I'm glad that you are trying to keep that secret and then we're going to blow it. We're going to blow it, but we're not going to blow your cover. We're not going to say who it's from, but we're going to share a few of them. Oh, if I had my druthers, I'd be DMing your parents and sharing this directly. Who have you become all of a sudden? <laughs> just a shitster. I just want Fair chaos enough. and families. I was very groundable as a child. You Did know you what? get grounded? Uh, this is a point of contention. You know, like those little things as a kid that everybody else got and then you wouldn't get it and you would just get jealous because you were the only kid who didn't get it. Like pogs or something? Every other kid got grounded, but my parents called it punishment. Dude, and that is so dark. Are you was, serious? It, it felt dark as a child. It feels dark as I say it out loud. And I'm remembering now, I'm having one of those like visceral reactions. Let it out, honey. Let where it out. I just wanted to be grounded like every normal kid. Yeah. But it's like, you're going to be punished. That's... And I was like, can I just be grounded? And it's like, no, punishment. Honestly, that's fucked up. I'm sorry. It's very, if you don't know me, that story kind of just summarizes it's, everything you need to know. You ready? I'm ready. I actually Hit haven't me. gone through these, so I'm just kind of going to go for it. Oh, this is a good one. When I had a stomach bug, it was really alcohol poisoning. Wow. Having had alcohol poisoning. Uh, you did? Where? I, what? Mild alcohol. I feel poisoning. like speaking of which, <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> that's that's a it's tough to cover. So you were suffering. I, I mean, it could have been a really commitment. bad like hangover, or like vomit sesh. I applaud you to your commitment to that lie because alcohol you. poisoning thanks, makes you thanks, feel thanks, thanks. <laughs> alcohol poisoning makes you feel like you very much want to go to the doctor. So and you very much should go to the doctor. Not if your mommy's going to yell at you. So. The strength that that person exhibited, I respect it. Good but for you. some stomach bugs are like really intense. Oh, sure. Think? Did you just look to make sure that we were at the same level? Wherever you go, I go. Mm, cute. Um, have you ever, did you ever do that? Um, you know the great story of my New Year's drunken experience. Do tell. Um, I took a college friend home uh, over the holidays. A friend? Yes, a literal friend. Oh, not like a girl. No, what up, Connor Fee? Does and he also have a watermelon head? No, he had a pinhead, ironically. Jesus, all your friends had weird-shaped heads. Connor, it, that, it's funny you should mention that because one of the most distinguishing characteristics about him was he had this little chickpea on a body. It was Cute. Like very tiny. Cute. Tall guy, but tiny head. Cute. Very triangular. You know, it all tapered at the top. Um, but we came home, and we went to my friend's house for New Year's, and you partied as you do. Uh, and... He, we don't anymore. No, <laughs> as, we, as we used to. Yeah. And uh, he wasn't a weed smoker. Good old Southern boy. Big drinker. So he hit my friend's joint and he was done. So I was like, let's go home. It was very close. We walked and uh, my parents were asleep and I just shuttled him into the basement where the guest bed is. And I was like, just go down there. Bathroom's over there. Do what you need to do. Like, we, Great basement. Great spot. Finished basement, New York. Uh, we survived. And we're just like, just go to the bathroom. Do what you need to do. Shut up. My mom wakes up and she's like, oh, what were you boys into? I'm like, oh. In the middle of the night or the next morning? No, she woke up like she heard us home. I was covering how drunk I was. I was doing okay. Um, 
And I was like, oh, we're fine. You know, Connor's tired. He took a train. Uh, and then she could hear from the basement that Connor's just puking, puking all over. I was like, oh, he's just, you know, he's... Uh, Food poisoning. You know, he has a lung issue. And a lung issue? Whatever. My mom was so mad. Small head issue. My mom like storms to bed. I go downstairs. Connor had missed the bathroom and gone to the laundry like boiler room and puked all over. Complete opposite sides of the room. Yeah. So he puked all over my dad's like workbench and everything. Oy. So I spent all night cleaning it up because I was going to convince my mom that like nothing happened. So I spent all night scrubbing, Just drunk cleaning. cleaning. Yes. Felt, it's a great time to clean when you're drunk, by the way. Not this drunk. Okay, okay. Uh, and so I finally woke up and my mom is so mad and she goes downstairs and she looks at the thing. I was like, see, everything's fine. And she was convinced that he puked in there. And I was like, you can't see anything. And she goes, clean it. And I was caught in this rock and hard place where either I admit that he puked and, that I, and I admit that I had cleaned it already or... I had to spend another four hours cleaning the clean room again. Uh, Trying to guess what you did. Because Connor did it in the boiler room and not the bathroom where you make. <laughs> did you clean again? You cleaned I did. again. You cleaned again. Way to go. Way to hold it down for your friend. Um, but way to cover, person from Instagram. Commit yeah. to it. Commit to the lie. Commit, Commit to the lie. Absolutely. We What's that your Seinfeld junkie? What's the George Costanza quote about lying? I don't know. It's not a lie if you believe it. Ah. I was shopping with my mom. She left me in the car. I had to pee, but couldn't leave the car. I peed the seat. Hmm. I'm shocked that the mom didn't know that. Maybe it was very hot. It evaporated. I guess it sounds cute because it's on Instagram, but like, isn't that like straight up abuse? <laughs> <laughs> the leaving of the car? If you leave your child yeah, in listen, a car in the, like, to the point where they have to pee and they can't escape and they pee the seat, that's that sounds really It could have really just been five minutes. Dark. They just really had to pee. Also, let's remember when we were growing up, we grew up in the 80s and 90s. Things were different. Yeah, but you can't get out the, the car and pee on the ground. Pee in a bottle? Is there a Gatorade bottle around? Uh, yeah, what were the options? And also, what were you gonna were you going to play it off when everybody got back to the car? Well, apparently she's, this person said that they're not, they hadn't told their parent. The, exactly. The premise of this prompt yeah. was this is something that I have not told my parents. Yeah. So mom got back in the urine soaked car. Yeah. I mean, that whole car wasn't soaked, Jeff. I dare you to pee on your car seat tonight and see how that my permeates car seat? through. Like I have a car seat. I drive with yes, car Yes, your little baby car seat. <laughs> your booster. The premise was that the parents don't know. So that mom got into a urine-soaked car and then ostensibly drove the urine-soaked car never in perpetuity, knew. never knowing. Maybe it was just like a little dribble? I hope so, or else she's driving that car for 15 more years. Like, why does my car always smell like urine? I pooped in a bathtub once. Uh, so we were little. My brother and I were taking a bath together. Mom drains the bath. There's a poop in there, and mom's like, who pooped in the bath and not me, not me. So you made in the bathtub? I made in the bathtub. Not me, not me. And then I was like, the rat did it. And I blamed it. I threw some unsuspecting rat under the bus. That's where that comes from. Because every time my food is eaten and someone doesn't want to admit to it. The rat You did blame it. the ubiquitous quote unquote rat. When in doubt, and the rat did it. The rat peed in your mom's car. The rat snorted coke with the Sephora card. Just sitting in a pee car and no one has any questions about it. Yeah. Everyone just looks forward and drives on, just sniffing but ignoring. You ever ignoring. pee in a car? No. You ever pee, like, in your pants? I got great control. I, I have a lot of problems and deficiencies in my life. But you feel solid by your control. But I, I, I sharted a little bit in an airport lift one time. It was no <laughs> more than a half dollar size. And that was the only time I ever peed and pooped. Uh, aside from like kitty stuff. The only time you maked. The only time I made when I shouldn't have made was uh, that one lift. Otherwise, tight. How did that lift tight. turn out? Uh, that's, I, that's the thing. It was a tiny little bit. And I spent the entire time worried that the guy was going to smell it. How do you hide a full pee in a car with your mom for the rest of your teenage years? Crazy. Crazy. Maybe they... Okay, so one time I got so stoned and I was at um, seeing hair in the park, Central Park. 
right? There's like a what theater. What experience. Yeah, it was amazing. But I smoked too much weed because I thought I was being cool and hip. The whole time I thought I had peed my pants. Like I could not enjoy it because I was like, okay, I, oh, for I sure. peed my pants. When you're like, messed up, you think you peed yourself. Oh my God. And I was like, okay, how am I going to get through this at intermission? I guess I'll take off my shirt and I'll tie it around my face. Like I had this whole plan. So I had to go back the next night to see it again because my friend was in it because I had missed the whole first act because I thought I had peed. So maybe this person maybe thought they peed. I like to turn on the seat heater so you feel like you peed yourself. Oh, that's the worst. Yeah. You do you... that to me sometimes. Yeah, because it always feels like you peed yourself. It's fun. We, we have, have fun. fun here. We have fun here. The rat did it. Thank you. You are the Lou Pearlmans to our boy band. Wait, didn't Lou Pearlman maybe not do sure the did. nicest things? <laughs> didn't say it by accident. <laughs> Cut it out. Uh, thanks, guys. And uh, we'll see you next time. Wait, I feel like we got to do at least one of these. We're doing these. a wave? Yeah. Okay. We'll, we'll practice for next time. Ciao. What up, dudes? Did you like this clip? Then obviously you're gonna love the show, so go check it out. You can hear the full episode now or binge the whole series wherever you get your podcast. And if you really want to step it up a notch, come over to the party on Patreon. If you haven't already, also, please subscribe to this channel, give this video a like, and, you know, do all that YouTube shit. Love you guys. Bye.